for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Gemini, the recent past energy between you and the person in this connection. You got this beautiful Four of Wands and it's with the Knight of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands, it does indicate that you might be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. So make sure to go. You'll have a great time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going really well. You'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you also. This is a very, very positive card in the reading. It shows a need to keep your wits about yourself. And although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, just know that you're still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. Four of Wands can also indicate that you might be thinking of moving or you're moving your place of residence. So Four of Wands is with this Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, it's showing a great time for travel. If you can manage to get away, you should be feeling really charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. The Knight of Wands self-confidence is increasing and this helps reach towards any goals. This card is about message messages. It's a message bearer, and the messages are likely to be positive. So, recent past energy, four of wands, clarified by the knight of wands. Well, Gemini, it looks like you, you could have been interested in um, marriage, long-term commitment with your person. But it looks like this person that you're dealing with, they kind of only had one foot in and one foot out. Maybe they just weren't ready when the conversation came up or when you approached them about being more serious. Yeah, because this Four of Wands is about, it's, this Four of Wands is the marriage and commitment card. And the Knight of Wands, it's, a, it's actually an in and out type of energy. Knight of Wands can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really brave and confident type. It's known as a player. So that's why I'm, I'm saying the person who you have this recent past energy with, they kind of just had one foot in and one foot out, but you were ready. You are ready for something serious. But uh, this person, they were not, they were not ready, not quite yet. They were still here and there, in and out. They didn't really stick around. So maybe you just got the impression that the time was not right, but you were ready. The Four of Wands is beautiful. Like I said, it's a marriage and commitment card. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up. First week of October, it, it's called the present. You see where the word says present. Now that's the seven of swords and it's paired with the four of swords. Now the seven of swords, it's um behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, then you're probably correct. And if you feel like, or you, if you feel like you're ready to dig through someone else's life, Unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, you might want to resist the, the impulse. Because we all know everyone deserves privacy. So, yeah, this is the stalker spying, prying in on someone. That's the energy of the Seven of Swords. Now, it's with the Four of Swords, which is showing a need for a break. Could be from normal life. It can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. The withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It can mean, for example, withdraw. For example, 
the type of withdrawals can be time in the hospital, time in jail. Those are just examples, but it's a feeling like someone has ghosted you. It could be that also. Now, it's a sign to give people their space. You're probably in need of some time and space for yourself. Others could be pushing you too hard for bits and time of your intent of your bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, if someone says no to you, take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, you could be asking for trouble. So, what's coming up? For the present time, we got the Seven of Swords. Like I said, it's clarified with the Four of Swords. So, like I said, you might feel like you need to keep tabs on this person that you're dealing with because like I said you you were ready for a commitment you might have brought this to their attention but you see that they're just not 100% in so you start to watch and maybe spy maybe stalk this person um, just to see what's going on and you're trying to figure out why aren't they ready because it probably feels like you guys are in a a relationship but you want to know what's going on that they're not ready like you are and this makes you feel like you need a break maybe you should take a break from this connection yeah so you might withdraw but you do come back yeah maybe just just a break to clear your head because you're starting to feel like you you you're doing something that you don't, that's out of your character. You don't stalk people. You don't keep tabs on them. But this person, you must really like, you must really like this person. And you're just trying to get some clarity on why they're not ready. So yeah, so you withdraw. But like I said, the Four of Swords is about, it's a temporary withdrawal. You, you do come back. But you just, the Four of Swords is about a rest, needing rest after a struggle. So maybe after you realize this person was not ready at the same time that you were, you realize that, um, yeah, it must have, must have weighed on you or played with your emotions. Or it might start to feel that way. So you take a take a break, you withdraw. But you're feeling like you need to keep tabs on this person and see what's really going on. You might start to think that they're not telling you everything. Yeah, so you you know you might start to stalk this person. Yeah, maybe drive around their workplace and see if they're seeing someone else. You just want to know why they're not ready, like you are, because maybe the connection feels right. And it feels like it's the perfect time for the next level, moving the connection to the next level. So it, it, this is weighing on you, that your person is not in it 100% like you are. So you need rest, and that's what you do. You take a break. So let's see what the challenge is. We have the Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Page of Cups, it shows a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When you get this card, it can mean that you've been taking yourself too serious. There was a poet that once said, The one thing that I have learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself serious. Now, the first can be imperative and the second can be a disaster. Now, when the Page of Cups talks about love and relationships, a younger person, maybe by a few days, may be a part of your love scenario. Yeah, this person might want to try to sweep you off your feet when you get the Page of Cups. But this person might be younger than you. They might be a student. You might, they might come across as immature. 
Yeah, and that's what the page stands for in the tarot. Stoop, a student, youth, immaturity, someone younger than you. Now, it's with this Ace of Wands, which is indicating a new beginning, very positive one. Could be in the realm of accomplishments. Could be related to work, career, or personally. And if you're having a difficult time, I'll just know that things are about to get better really soon. This card is about being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future. The really good cause. So you're likely to start to feel really energetic and positive. Or you'll be feeling that way soon. Great time to start something new. So a challenge. Page of Cups clarified by the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that your person that you're involved with, they might, for a lot of you, your person is younger than you, so they still they still need to grow. They still need to develop. They haven't really reached the maturity level that you have. That would make them ready for commitment. But it's showing that they might reach they, they might reach out to you because the page of cups is about some messages. Somebody trying to sweep you off your feet. So they might realize what you're going through. They might know that you're starting to keep tabs on them. So this person They'll reach out to you, and um, they're going to be really passionate, or they have a lot of passion for you. Because the Ace of Wands is about having passion. So, they could let you know that um, they do want to start something new with you, or they could... Um, They could uh, let you know that they want the connection to undergo a new beginning. And you two will rise to new levels of understanding each other. That's what the Ace of Wands can be if you're dealing with someone. If this is, if this is the same person from the recent past energy. So this person reaches out to you, tries to sweep you off your feet, make you feel better. And they'll, they're going to let you know that they want the connection to undergo a new beginning. So it has the possibility, it has the potential to rise to a new level. But, like I said, there's a certain amount of immaturity with this person. So they're, they're not quite at the level that you are. Even if they're older than you, there's still some immaturity there. Because we got this page of cups. So you may not have anything to worry about. They're just, they just haven't gotten to your level of maturity yet. So they kind of are into that mode. Whereas they just want to kind of like have fun. But like I said, they see you going through a struggle. And you want more. So they reach out to you being really passionate. Passionate and, um, and this person, they, they'll be letting you know that um, they do want a new beginning with you. So like I said, it could rise to new levels or to the next level. Commitment and marriage, I, I don't know about that. That's what you wanted um, from the recent past energy with this person, but... They're going to let you know that they do like you. They got a lot of passion for you and that the connection could definitely go to the next level. So that's a challenge. Now let's see what the outcome is. So we got the Wheel of Fortune. And we got the Eight of Wands. Now the Wheel of Fortune, it's a card that reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times, whether it's bad times, it passes. So if all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world... Keep your perspective like that too. Everything else, well, what am I saying? 
if you do find yourself sitting on top of the world, and I'm saying this because the will of fortune is about having fortune in your favor. So if you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. Because the will constantly turns. But the good thing is that fortune is in your favor at this at this time. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But even that's okay. It's about rolling with the changes and thinking positive. So the Wheel of Fortune is with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is about a lot of things being up in the air. You're probably frustrated, tired of waiting. And this card can indicate it. It can indicate that you got to be patient a while longer. You've done all that you can do. Now decisions, they must be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. But don't try to force it. And I say this because if you try to force it, it could backfire on you. It could backfire. Sometimes just know our actions, they're all in the risk. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there and I'll just wait. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so the outcome for you, Gemini, Will of Fortune, clarified by the Eight of Wands. So your person, like I said, they reach out to you, be really passionate, letting you know that, um, yeah, they're ready to take it to the next level. So you start to feel like fortune is in your favor. Yeah, so you start to feel really good about this connection again. But it's with this Eight of Wands. So, I don't know if you're going to start to think that this is all talk that your person is giving you. Because um, when the Eight of Wands talks about love and relationships, you're probably feeling ready for a commitment that doesn't seem to be forthcoming. So still, it's just not moving fast enough for you. But it's it's coming. What you want to happen between you and your person, it's coming. Like I said, don't force it. Because it could backfire on you. It's, it's saying to let it take its natural course of action. Your person is going to let you know that they're ready to take it to the next level. But it looks like they need a little more time for the marriage, for the ring. Okay, they they still have, they're not as mature as you are in this connection. But they're letting you know that they really like you. They got a lot of passion for you. But you're ready now with the Zeta of Wands. Things are up in the air. You're feeling good though. Fortune is, you know that fortune is in your favor. Your person is finally kind of saying things that you want to hear. So that's the reading that I have for you, Gemini. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not all they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell.